Now let's start our discussion over electricity. Yo, previous session was too interesting, and this will be also as to me. If you have not seen the previous part, then just go for it. The link is given in the description. And yeah, please don't forget to subscribe our channel for more updates. And if you want to ask any question, please give it in comment. Now there a term, electons, which mean negative charge, and proton which mean positive charge. Electron negative, proton positive. Yeah, and you have to remember one value, that is one electron is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb, which is the SI unit of electric current. Wow. And one more thing, one coulomb of charge is approximately equal to 6 into 10 to the power 18 electron. That's nice. And yeah, we can find it through mathematical method. Then let's do it. Electron is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. So, 1 coulomb will be equals to 1 electron by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. What we have done is done here is we have just only transfer this which is in multiple form in the right hand side. We have transferred it to our left hand side. So here it is in multiplication term. So when it will come to the left side it will come to division form so uh, it will be equals to whenever we will solve this it will come to approximately to 6.2 into 10 to the power 18 which we uh, which we can also write as approx uh, one column is approximately to 1 into 10 to the power 18 electrons. Now, it's the time to learn electric potential and potential difference. Oh, let's start. The work done to move a unit positive charge from infinitive to that point is termed as electric potential. Yo, it's easy. Here it's work done whose SI unit is joule and charge whose SI unit is coulomb. So we can mathematically represent it as V is equal to work by charge or joule by coulomb. Oh, nice. It was our second formula. Please remember it. I have remembered. It's V equals W by Q. It's time to remember some circuit diagram. That's ocean, isn't it? Yeah, it is. In the next module, we will learn about the Ohm's Law and the Resizators. For now, please hit the subscribe button.